What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got Peyton Hillis through the years, man. One of the biggest one-year winners in NFL history. But before that, he was a pretty solid running back slash fullback for those Arkansas Razorbacks. Now, in NCAA 05, his freshman year, he's 82 overall as a fullback. I'll be using his fullback numbers all the way up until we get to the pros because in NCAA football, he was listed as a fullback. So 76 speed, 74 agility, 82 acceleration, 68 catch, 76 carry, 74 break tackle, and a 62 run block rating. He will carry the rock 63 times for 240 yards, averaging 3.8 yards per carry, 6 TDs, which is his career high. He also catched 12 passes for 97 yards and 2 receiving TDs. And a loss to LSU. He had 5 carries for 66 yards plus a touchdown. He also catched 1 pass for 7 yards plus a touchdown through the air. And they win versus New Mexico State. 9 carries for 32 yards and 2 rushing TDs for Big Peyton Hillis. Into the way 06, 94 overall, 84 speed, 92 agility, 82 agility, excuse me, 86 acceleration, 65 catch, 84 carry, 82 break tackle, and a 62 run block rating. He'll carry the rock 65 times for 315 yards, averaging 4.8 yards per carry. Three TDs on the ground. He also catched 38 passes for 402 yards and four receiving TDs. And a win burst Missouri State. 14 carries, 135 yards, and three TDs. That's right, all three TDs came versus Missouri. State and they win versus Mississippi State. Five carries, 28 yards, three receptions for 44 yards plus a TD through the air. And Peyton Hillis is gone. And if you've seen my Prime U Dynasty in both games versus Arkansas, he's destroyed us. He's killed us, man. He's a freaking animal out there. He's a goon. I don't like facing him. I hope he leaves after this season because I think he has one more year of eligibility left. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. NCAA 07, next gym back then on the 360, 95 overall for Peyton Hillis, 86 speed, 88 acceleration, 84 break tackle, 90 truck, 92 for his ball carrier vision, 89 stiff arm, and an 85 carry rating. He carried the rock just 13 times this season for 57 yards. He would will, he will average 4.4 yards per carry. He'll run for one rushing TD. He also catched 19 passes for 159 yards, but did not get a receiving TD. In a win versus Mississippi, he got his touchdown through the air. In a win versus Southeast State, I believe, he caught or he ran the ball four times for 23 yards. And then in a game versus Utah State, he caught four passes for 45 yards. Let's move on. NCAA 08, 93 overall, 86 speed, 88 acceleration, 85 break tackle, 88 truck, 84 elusiveness, 80 carry, and a 52 for his run block rating. So he will carry the Rock 62 times for his senior season for 347 yards, which is a career best. He would also average 5.6 yards per carry, which is also a career best. Two rushing TDs. He will also catch 49 passes for 537 yards and five TDs, and all of those are career best as well. And a win versus LSU. 11 carries, 89 yards, two TDs. Caught five passes for 62 yards and two receiving TDs. And a win versus Mississippi. He had a grand total of four carries for 18 yards, but four receptions for 60 yards plus a receiving TD. And that's going to do it for his college career. Kind of up and down, but he proved to be a pretty decent catch at a seventh round pick, man. That's right, seventh round pick. And you can say he kind of had a better run in the NFL than, I guess, Darren McFadden, depending on how you look on it, and Felix Jones, depending on how you look at it. And those guys were first round picks, and our man Peyton Hillis was a seventh round pick. And that pick went to the Denver Broncos, 76 overall as a rookie, and he is a fullback, got that ugly face mask. He was actually a free agent in this game when it first came out. 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 80 truck, 70 looseness, 75 stiff arm, 80 carry, and 54 run block rating. He is still listed as a fullback in this game, and that won't change until Madden 11, I believe. Anyways, man, when we look at his numbers for the Denver Broncos, they look like this. He carried a rock 68 times for 343 yards, 5 TDs. He averaged 28.6 yards per game. He caught 14 passes for 179 yards, plus a TD through the air. And they win for those New York Jets. 
22 carries, 129 yards plus a touchdown, and they win versus Atlanta. He had 10 carries for 44 yards, two TDs, caught three passes for 26 yards as well. And look at him run away from those Raiders. That's right, those Raiders. Let's move on to Madden 2010. Still a fullback, but kind of looking like himself right there. 84 overall, 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 84 truck, 64 elusiveness, 84 ball carry division, 87 for his carry, and 72 run block footwork. I got it. I mean, that's what it was. That's what I got to give you. Anyways, man, he would carry the rock just 13 times. He was healthy for the most part of the season. He played in 14 games, started two of those games, just carried the rock 13 times for one TD, averaging 3.9 yards per game. Not per K, but per game, man. He also caught four passes for 19 yards. One of his best games was versus Cleveland. He had one carry for two yards, and it was for a TD. And then in a win versus Kansas City, he had 47 yards on seven carries. So he will be traded for Brady Quinn, and I think there was something else in that trade as well. But it's basically swapping players, Brady Quinn for Peyton Hillis. And if we're thinking about players, I think the Broncos lost that trade and the Browns won that trade at least for a year or two, right? Right. Anyways, let's move on to his Cleveland Brown days. He was actually wearing 28 in this game when it first came out. And Joe Hayton, ironically enough, was wearing number 40. Anyway, 77 overall for big Peyton Hillis. 84 for his speed, 82 acceleration, 84 truck, 57 elusiveness, 82 for his ball carry vision, 75 for that stiff arm, and an 85 for his carry. Now, for this season, he would have a pretty good season, obviously, right? 270 carries for 1,177 yards, 11 TDs, averaging 73.6 yards per game, caught 61 passes for 477 yards and 2 TDs, and they win versus New England, 29 carries, 184 yards and 2 TDs, also caught 3 passes for 36 yards, and they win versus Carolina, 26 carries, 131 yards, 3 TDs, caught 6 passes for 63 yards as well. Got the cover of Madden 12, man. 91 overall, 87 speed, 86 agility, 91 acceleration, 99 truck, 97 ball carry vision, 98 stiff arm, and a 90 spin move. I did a rebuild with this team right here and Peyton Hillis, man. He was solid, bruh. He blossomed like a 94 overall tailback, beasting and facing. Couldn't do that in real life. But with me at the sticks, <laughs> anything is possible. Anyways, man, when we look at his numbers, he ran the ball 161 times for 587 yards, three TDs, averaging 58.7 yards per game. He also had 22 receptions for 130 yards, and a win versus Indy. 27 carries, 94 yards, and two TDs, and a loss to Baltimore. He caught a, or he ran the ball, excuse me, 24 times for 112 yards. So now we gotta look at him as a Kansas City Chief. Y'all remember him his days as a Kansas City Chief? Nah. And, and I don't think the Browns get enough credit for not re-signing him. Like, that was probably a good move. But then they ended up drafting Trey Richardson. So, again, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. Madden 13, a member of the Chiefs. He's 83 overall, 85 speed, 83 agility, 86 acceleration, 93 truck, 93 ball carry vision, 87 stiff arm, and a 90 spin move. For this season, he would carry the rock 85 times for 309 yards, 1 TD. He would also average 23.8 yards per game, caught 10 passes for 62 yards. And a loss to Indianapolis. He carried the rock 15 times for 101 yards. And a win versus Carolina, 12 carries, 19 yards, but his 1 TD. He likes playing against Carolina, man. And his career versus Carolina, 4 TDs, man. Not bad. Not bad, and that's just the numbers I got. He could have more somewhere hidden, but I think that's I think that's it. I think that's it. Anyways, man, Madden 25, 76 overall for my man Peyton Hillis, winning 44 with those New York Giants at the beginning of this game. He was a member of those Buccaneers, and he was on the Buccaneers for preseason during this time frame. Anyway, 76 overall, 83 speed, 79 agility, 82 acceleration, 87 for his trucking, 88 ball carry vision, 94 stiff arm, and an 88 spin move. Like, his spin move has been ridiculous since Madden 12. I did not know he had a Barry Sanders spin move in his arsenal. Like, I didn't know that, but I'm, I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I'm just saying. Anyways, we look at his numbers for Big Blue. K to Rock 73 times for 247 yards, two TDs. He would also average 35.3 uh, yards per game, 13 receptions for 96 yards, and a win versus Philly. 
20 carries, 70 yards, 3 catches for 15 yards. And a win versus Washington, 17 carries, 56 yards. And then in a loss to San Diego, he got his 1 TD. Anyways, man of 15, 73 overall, 82 speed, 77 agility, 81 acceleration, 85 truck, 86 ball carry vision, 93 stiff arm, 87 for his spin move. That spin move is deadly, y'all. 26 carries he had this season for 115 yards, averaging 12.8 yards per game. He also caught 10 passes for 87 yards in a win versus Washington, 8 carries. 31 yards and they lost to Dallas 6 carries 29 yards and they lost to Philly 5 carries 24 yards 3 receptions for 28 yards and Madden 16 he is a free agent there goes his attribute 73 overall not too bad he has 82 speed can still truck and he still has a nice stiff arm and an 87 spin move just 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 deadly man 79.1 overall is his average overall in Madden that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The Hall of Fame is coming up, so I might redo. I might redo Ray Lewis, Brian Dawkins, T.O., Randy Moss, Brian Erlacher, but we'll see. I'm out. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.